Ladies and gents, ads are now making as much, if not more, on YouTube Shorts as they are on long form videos, and this is huge news for new creators. Check this out. All right, you guys, this is from an article on rootnote.com. YouTube Shorts now brings in the same ad revenue per watch hour as long form videos in the US and even surpasses it in some other countries. This is a quote from Neil Mohan, the CEO of YouTube. And he just said this in New York City at an ad pitching conference, apparently. This is wild. And the reason this is happening is because increased ad impressions, AI powered ad targeting, and a surge in Shorts viewership compared to long form videos. You guys, this isn't a small update. This is a shift in how YouTube makes money. And that means a shift in how creators can make money as well. Let's do some quick math. If a 10 minute long form video and 10 one minute shorts now bring in the same money per watch hour, that technically means that 10 shorts equals one long in terms of revenue. But shorts can be a lot easier to make and way easier to go viral with. That is a huge opportunity, especially if you're not using shorts at all right now. Before you get too hyped, you still have to be part of the YouTube Partner Program to actually make money on shorts. So here's the checklist again, if you've missed it. You need a thousand subscribers and either 4,000 hours of long form watch time or 10 million shorts views in the last 90 days. There's a barrier to entry, it still exists, but the payout is looking very, very real now. I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. I've been a YouTube strategist for a long time now and have blown up a lot of YouTube channels. And up until this very video, I've usually recommended staying away from shorts, especially if you're a long form focused creator or a business owner. Here are some of my old clips breaking down why I've traditionally thought that way. Here's the problem with short form content. There's no money in it because nobody wants to freaking sit and watch a 15 or 30 second ad in between watching 15 or 30 second videos. Long form content converts an audience at about 100 to 1 versus short form content. Now I've changed my mind on a lot of those ideas, which I'll get into here in a minute, but here's something that I've also said from the beginning. Create long form content that includes clippable shorts in each of the videos. I like to think of them as segments that you can clip out of your long form content that will still bring attention back to your long form content. And I still believe that long form builds the relationship, shorts builds the reach. It's kind of like a dating app. You swipe, you swipe, you swipe. And then when you land on somebody that you like, that you want to take to dinner, then you ask them out you go to dinner. It's kind of like swipe, swipe, swipe on short form content. Ooh, I like this creator. Let's watch their long form content. You're committing more time to that creator because you like the content that they're producing. That's exactly how I've always recommended that you should be thinking about shorts when it comes to long form content. But the difference now is that both both can build significant revenue. And if you're not posting shorts yet, this might actually be the best time to start because the opportunity has finally caught up to the exposure. So let's talk about opportunity. If you're just getting started or trying to work shorts into your content strategy, here are three simple formats that anyone can do. Number one, clip your long form content. If you're already making long form videos, this is the lowest hanging fruit. Just start pulling your best segments, the hot takes, the funny lines, surprising facts, or emotional moments, and turn those into punchy standalone shorts. You don't need to overthink think it, just ask yourself, is there a 20 to 40 second moment in this video where I said something that made me pause or rewind? Because chances are, if it made you pause, then it will make the audience pause as well. That's your clip. You can even post your long form video on YouTube and then look at your retention graph and all of those little spikes are your most watched moments. You can just take those moments individually and turn those into shorts. Number two, use shorts to test long form ideas. Before committing to a full length video, test the concept with a 30 second short. Let's say you have an idea like, what if I broke down how the Formula One race was filmed with drones? Instead of spending days scripting and editing the long form version, post a short with a killer hook like, this might be the craziest drone shot in sports history, and here's how they pulled it off. And then if that short pops, now you know it's worth making into a full long form video. And if it flaps, no big loss. It was just a short. And then number three, creating native shorts. These are built specifically for the shorts feed. They're fast paced, scroll stopping, and designed for swipe culture. Here's the formula. Big hook in the first half of a second, and then a quick interesting story leading to a payoff or a mic drop moment. Think about creators like Zach King or Jenny Hoyos. If you nail this format, you'll build a whole new audience on autopilot and you can later create long form videos in the same style when you're ready. All right, you guys, this isn't just a news update. It is a signal from YouTube. It's a real chance for creators to diversify, grow, and finally earn from both sides of the platform. The creators who figure out how to blend shorts and long form, they're the ones who are going to win in this next wave of content creation. Now, if you want a full breakdown on how Zach D Films short strategy has earned him over 20 million subscribers. I got that video right here. See you over there.